Hello, All right. my friends. Uh, lights on. Welcome to Double D Experience. Welcome. We was just telling my friend Dennis that we will... The fall of the West is upon us, comrades. <laughs> <laughs> we have... We are now uh. in possession of an American nuclear bomb. <laughs> Code name Danny Sexbang. Oh god. Oh wow, that would be a good name for a bomb, huh? The does, Sex Bang. The Sex Bang. Uh, does Does Russia have a way of saying Daniel? I wonder. Yes, Daniel. It's with a Y. <laughs> Daniel. Like, like everything Russian. Definitely sounds like a bomb, dude. Whenever like what's his name, whatever that basketball player was that has like tattoos all over his face and his cock, like was like with the with Kim Jong Un or whatever. Uh, oh, Dennis that? Rodman. I, Dennis Rodman. Yeah, I was always, I always thought to myself, like, you know, that guy, like, oh, we should use that man. Like, <laughs> we as, should weaponize. We, this man. I was gonna say, we should turn him into a nuke, right? And like, set up like a fucking, set up like a net in North Korea, so... right? Like a, a basketball net in North Korea, and then we'll fly overhead. And we will drop him with like a fucking basketball in his hand, right? <laughs> and as we drop him on North Korea, he will also simultaneously proceed to do the greatest dunk in the history of mankind. So great that it's nuclear. Exactly. <laughs> God, it's Think about like... that. They'd be killing two birds with one stone. I have something to say to that. You basically... would be killing a lot of birds with a lot of stones, actually. <laughs> It's, it's basically uh, Joker's plan when he was in the jail in the Dark Knight. Remember how he had that guy's um, stomach? Uh, he had that uh, the phone like sewed into it. And yeah, it was, it, yeah, it was, it was, like, I remember. Bomb. It's just basically that times like a million. <laughs> God, that shit was so corny and somehow so epic at the end too. When he was just like, "Hmm, wrong number." <laughs> <laughs> it's like, wow. <laughs> that that made it into the script somehow. I love how even the cops like last line, but before it ex it explodes, he's he's just like disbelief mixed with like pointing out the obvious. It's like is that a phone? <laughs> <laughs> Kaboom! I just want my phone call. <laughs> okay, oh, I love you, Heath Ledger. Yeah, uh, rest a rest a beautiful soul. You method acted too hard, my friend. Don't uh don't lock yourself in a room for weeks on end to deliberately drive yourself insane for a role. Fun fact to little little tip for all you young aspiring actors out there. It, it'll yeah, win yeah. you the Oscar. Oh yeah, you, you, won able, it. you won't you won't yeah, be able to hold it, it, but it, right? like <laughs> you won't be able to fucking grab it, but like you'll yeah. you'll get the Oscar. This, Same yeah. thing with like uh, Chadwick Boseman, he, you know, he won a he won a supporting actor award for whatever that movie he did with uh, I think Viola Davis. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, and you know they published that after he passed away. I and wonder though, like, who who gets it then? Do they like drop it at his grave or something? Like, they probably give it to his give, family. Yeah, probably give it to his family. I mean, yeah. you're like, I mean, somebody probably accepts it there in his honor. I mean, I don't know. Mm. I don't watch those award shows and shit. I mean, it wasn't an Oscar because the I don't think the Oscars happened yet. I think it was the Golden Globes. Uh, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. which are pretty much a shittier version of the Oscars, as we all know. <laughs> I mean. They all are all kind of shitty. But let's be honest. Yeah, that's that's something else. Like, uh, but yeah. Um, mm. David, you have some words. <sighs> you have some words today. Uh, I you don't have even some know. Words. I, I don't even know how to speak. I don't know why I started a podcast. I <laughs> don't know how to talk. I'm gonna make a podcast. <laughs> like I just I just go limp for like the rest of the show, just like nothing. But I leave it recording. Hey man, I mean, I've heard Aaron like think just talk by himself for like a good hour, and I almost sometimes wish like, wow, why am I watching this? <laughs> oh yeah, and I'm sure you will. Um, well, um, <laughs> fuck. Uh, you probably noticed if uh, Future Nintune has decided to do this. Uh, once I record this, I actually don't even really want to wait till Friday to upload this. I want to upload this immediately. A if I'm ASAP? being completely honest, I do. I want to upload mm -hmm. it asap and have that be this week's. Uh, Double D sex experience, if you would. This is a topic that, you know, beyond the fact of, like, you know, whatever, you know, sexual abuse or grooming or cancel culture, which is really what I'm going to be talking about here for the most part, mm -hmm. uh, sort of combines two birds with one stone, because I've been meaning to talk about this for a while, actually, beyond the fact that yesterday and today was pretty much shining examples of 
why cancel culture is very much a thing, and why it's heinous and can lick every inch of my crowning asshole. Oh. But, uh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> what happened um, the other day, and by the other day, as the time I'm recording this, I mean like two days ago, mm. is uh, Dan Abaddon, uh, Abaddon, who you probably know better as uh, Danny Sexbang from Game Grumps and Ninja Sex Party. Mm-hmm. He's a huge inspiration to both me and Dennis, if we're being honest. Uh, probably, I, I, I mean, I don't want to speak for Dennis necessarily, but we both very much, you know, we love his work. And mm-hmm. if anything, I loved his work. I don't listen to a lot of his stuff now, but during my high school and college days, like yeah, I always listened to him a lot. Thank yeah, you. that's my that's my whole set. Go ahead, go ahead. And he means a lot to a lot of like young impressionable people, you know, mm-hmm. myself included. When I grew up watching his stuff, and about two days ago, uh, some anonymous Twitter user, or he was anonymous, I should say, posted something on his fucking Twitter account saying that he groomed a minor. And for those of you that don't know what grooming is, that's essentially when you, as an adult, manipulate a minor, coercing them eventually into sex or manipulation or that kind of stuff, whatever. It's like basically a bottom step up to pedophilia. And this, um, this person was essentially talking about this story that came out for Danny and a lot of people, you know, on Twitter.com, as they are (laughs) one to do got insanely upset about that immediately it mm-hmm. was pretty bad you know like people were you know saying oh, i can't believe this you know i they, this was a, they can't believe game grumps was supporting this all this time i can't believe this person i looked mm-hmm. up to over and over like this it's like everybody just kind of believed it mm. and i you know there's this whole notion i've even mentioned it a couple episodes on the podcast that like you should believe victims when they come out with their stories. We we have said that. In we have episode. said that because mm-hmm. most of the time they're not lying. And, you know, most of the time, you know, they they don't want that kind of attention. People like it's a common thing, you know, like people yeah. to like for them to say, oh, they're just uh, saying this for attention and whatnot. They just want their 15 minutes of Internet fame. Why the fuck would you ever want that kind of attention? Oh, can I also say something real quick? Please, please. I'm sorry. Sorry. I was also just um, uh, to David's point, like when we were saying uh, before that, uh, I guess we call it like we, you know, like believe victims and such. I've always kind of had, like, kind of had just a little bit of a half-half to that. I always just kind of was like a take, like, let the news trickle in and then just at least, like, make your own opinion about it. Nope, that doesn't work in the real world. Uh, the one little piece of information comes out, that's the truth. Sorry. Yes, that's, yeah, like, that's apparently go, go back to your whole <laughs> fucker. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, going back, yeah, and, uh, David, you may yes, take the floor um, back, yeah. That's just this, my whole piece. On the whole the, and people were really upset about this because, as we all know, and <laughs> I, I, Dennis would definitely know this too because of that video I sent him of Mr. Incredible again. <laughs> it's a very. <laughs> YouTubers be getting canceled. Left and, and right. You know, a lot of them have done. I mean, don't get me wrong. A lot of them have done some pretty heinous shit. Some of them deserve which, it. Which, yeah, I could, I could agree with. Yeah. Some of them don't. Mm-hmm. I, I think most of them, frankly, did based on the stories that have came out about them, if we're being honest. And yeah, most yeah. of them, eventually, when they, you know, finally had the, the actual evidence come out, they, were, they, they make that fucking garbage YouTube video where they open the video like. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> well, here we are. <laughs> Here we are, guys, and they made that haphazard shit tier apology, which definitely go watch mm-hmm. Critical's YouTuber apology tier list video that he made. That was the funniest <laughs> shit I've ever seen. Watching that man rank them, <laughs> that was fucking amazing. That, that's how it's you like, know this is a textbook YouTube apology. Here, she's got the tears at the beginning <laughs> and sighing right at the very start. It was a perfect YouTube apology. If I've ever done to see one, I'm putting this one up in S tier. <laughs> it was so stupid, David. Your yes. voice is deeper than his i don't know why know. you go for like a deep voice for him. he actually sounds even though you're fairly young he sounds younger than you though what's up everybody it's critical <laughs> today we're gonna be playing some call of duty black ops so let's just do this shit not even a challenge so far all right i'm gonna buy the shotgun here oh bringing out my boomstick good job knife Good job. That, that was like a video from before he was even famous. 
Uh, <laughs> but yeah, um, and the recently this happened to, a, or, you know, was going to happen to a YouTuber who uh, most people who follow him, and not even just people who don't even follow him believe this too, mm. never thought this would ever happen to. Never thought that this would happen to him. But this guy, some random person on Twitter, not not a victim. This wasn't the victim of this mm. quote-unquote crime that Daniel Sexbang committed. It was just somebody who, like, came out on Twitter about it saying he heard about the victim's story. Mm. And uh, everybody believed it immediately. There was some guy who, you know, s smashed his ninja sex party ring with a brick, you know, probably had his little 15 minutes of fame on there, did some performative Twitter Even less shit. than that, let's be honest. Five Even seconds. Even less than that. And here's <laughs> the thing. Literally the next day, that's today. Yeah, it turned out it was bullshit. Yeah, but it doesn't matter because the guy's reputation, you know, a it's lot of people stained. already see him yeah. for this way because of that. Here's what actually happened. Here's the story. I should probably get into this before talking about, you know, the repercussions or the mm -hmm. R's of cancel culture regarding it. What happened is that uh, Danny Sexbang, he is the co-host of Game Grumps, and uh, he's also uh, the lead singer of a band he calls Ninja Sex Party. They're a comedy band and also a cover band. And uh, he's been doing it for years. And back in October of 2013, uh, one of his fans contacted him or something. And uh, she started talking like, oh, you should totally come to my town, this and that. And he was just like, oh, yeah, we'll, we'll definitely tour there in like a year or two or something. And they got happy. This is when this girl was underage, right? She was 17. Uh, but there was nothing sexual about the nature of what happened between them in that conversation the woman was 17 the girl was 17 years old and she was turning 18 in literally three weeks this is why people are saying he's grooming because danny sexbang four years later hooked up with this girl four years later and um uh, it's the internet so i'm sure a lot of people you know don't know what they're doing and i wasn't very good at math either when i was uh <laughs> growing up in school but I know what 18 plus fucking 4 is. It's 22. <laughs> okay? And the two of them hooked up once when she was 22. And then Danny ghosted her. Like a few weeks after that. Basically, what happened is that he did the whole... He did the rock star groupie thing. He had a groupie. Mm -hmm. And hooked up with her. The thing is, though, like, people blew this completely out of proportion. Mm -hmm. They're already... People are already calling him a fucking pedophile. Mm -hmm. Which makes me lose my shit to absolutely no fucking end for mm -hmm. so many goddamn reasons. You don't even know the fucking half of it. Because he didn't... He didn't fuck anyone underage. He didn't fuck... He didn't have sex with anybody underage. He, like, he had this one very brief conversation with this girl before she was 18. Wished her a happy 18th birthday... And then literally years later, the two of them hooked up. And that's the only evidence that anybody has, uh, like, of him doing any of this stuff like that. There's this one w video that surfaced of him, like, uh, him staying at this hotel or something that had a two-seater jacuzzi. And it was a message that he sent her saying that he wanted her to be there so they could, like, fuck in it. That's all fine and dandy. And I, I'm sorry, but if you have a problem with, like, two consensual adults doing that kind of stuff, if you're seeing that as problematic... I'm sorry, but you are virtue signaling, and this is coming from me. Uh, this is coming from a fucking guy who, you know, last July had literal friends who were outed as predators. I have friends who were victims of these kinds of things. Actual fucking, you know, like, grooming cases that have happened. Not something that gets, like, blown out of proportion like this. You want to know what it really was, Dennis? Mm. This guy was from a subreddit called R Rant Grumps. Oh, yeah, I know that fucking Yeah, you know that fucking, up. you know that shit. Oh, if God, you don't know what our rant grumps is, everybody, I, uh, did, you, you, you tell him, Dennis. You even say it. Oh, okay. Here's a little, here's a little bit of my story about this whole thing. Uh, David had contacted me about this a couple of uh, days before. I think straight up like last week, like around the weekend, right? It was and, yesterday. Uh, was it or really? Two just... Or two days ago. Yeah, two days. Yeah, at least two days. It, it definitely wasn't yesterday. At least that's how I'm I feeling Actually, about it. I think it. Actually, yeah, it was two days ago. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah two days right, ago. Right. Right. So like around Sunday, and um, I had already kind of seen a bit of the rumblings about this even before David texted me about it. I didn't really care enough to really look into it because I honestly thought like, I this is from my point of view. 
I have a lot more important shit going on in my life. <laughs> like, I honestly don't think I could even have the time to be looking through this. And I don't. <laughs> Regardless. Um, I even had a couple of other friends who um, came up to me, uh, messaged me, like, thing and basically said, like, hey, did you hear what's going on with this? Because, like, they knew that, like, you know, I was, like, a, um, was not too much anymore. I, I, I do, like, um, I, I did enjoy, like, thing, uh, just sex parties like music um back then but like, i don't really listen to them anymore still appreciate them but um uh some of some friends contacted me and they were like saying like hey like you know did you know that uh this whole thing went on and i was like and i basically gave the whole same spiel that i told david that like uh, i'm not really going to be looking into it too much because i already have a lot going on in my plate and i honestly feel as if like this is something that i, I and it turns out i was right was overblown for no reason and, our, our, our rank grumps yeah over overblown by one fucking person basically off of a shitty ass subreddit and uh you know you could tell like there's a lot of productive things going on in that fucking subreddit but, yeah um, it's literally a fucking it, it's literally a subreddit it's an echo chamber it's an it echo chamber even, to, to like just, just an echo chamber whatever yeah it's not even just like an, a ranting thing you know like they they're everybody in there is like actively trying to cancel members of the grump team They've been doing it for years, apparently. Apparently, that's literally what that whole fucking uh, subreddit is. Uh, I saw it. I went into the thread they had on Suzy. It mm. was comical. Holy yeah. shit. They were trying so fucking hard to make this person seem like a bad person. The shit that they were trying to cancel for her is like, she once whined because somebody on, like, one of the replies to her Twitter post said something really mean. <laughs> like, what the- That was literally something- that they were trying to make her seem like a bad person for. Oh, God forbid somebody be, you know, a little irritated when somebody directly insults them. Oh, fuck, yeah, you have them. You have human fucking emotion. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. What is wrong with you? It's, that's literally what that fucking subreddit is, apparently. Apparently this guy was from it, and this, this kid was like 19, by the way. Kids who, like, fucking, who posted this on his Twitter. Fucking it's children, yo. <laughs> like, literally no ridiculous. Like, <laughs> the fucking victim, quote-unquote, that uh, Danny talked about, even came out and said, this wasn't grooming. Yeah, I think what he so did was, like, pretty shitty. Stupid. It's like, I think what he did was kind of shitty, and frankly, it was. You know, ghosting people isn't cool. I'll say that, but it's not worth fucking... It and canceling somebody's yeah. entire livelihood for, like they were doing here. Let me read this to you real quick, Dennis. What this guy did is that he came out and was like, oh, apparently Danny Sexbang is, is a groomer. <laughs> and, like, yeah, it was like literally just this one Pushing post. his glasses up And then too, yeah, straight up the next... No, 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 no. The next day, this guy goes on Twitter and says, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read it. I'm going to fucking read it. And I quote, okay. Wait, well, no, give him like a really like Melvin, period. like as... <laughs> Yeah, okay. voice. I did some more research last <laughs> night and came to, the came to the a conclusion that the Reddit thread really didn't have the most trustworthy evidence aside from maybe the video. But the video doesn't prove anything about grooming. So far, it seems more like Dan using a groupie for sex. Which still is shitty, but I'm not sure if there was... I'm, I'm, I'm not doing this. If there's any other evidence around, I would love I, I, I to see it. I got sick of it already. Sorry. But I want to apologize for that thread getting so out of hand yesterday. It's not what I wanted at all. I was just sharing a warning, but that's no excuse. I'm really sorry for the mess that happened yesterday. I've deleted the thread. Uh, hold up a second. I, I have the second one in here somewhere. Ugh. If you're mad at me, then that's completely understandable. You have every right to be upset, and I'm sorry. It's like, I'm not trying to say that those girls' experiences are invalid. I'm only <laughs> talking about this specific Reddit thread, because I don't know about the other accusations that have apparently happened over the year. Basically, this kid, who, by the way, I looked at his profile. He's like 19. Fucking retard. <laughs> I, uh... <laughs> basically made a post trying to ruin this guy's life. You cannot tell me that he was trying to, like, share some sort of warning or anything like that regarding it. He had such little information that wasn't... He had off really of a no subreddit. solid off of a subreddit <laughs> that is specifically dedicated to trying to get that person canceled. Yeah, totally unbiased source of information that you got that shit from. They're totally not spinning the information and posted that shit like it was fact. Basically, evidence of what? Whole story? TLDR it? Uh, this girl said hi to Dan at 17 years and 11 months old. She turned 18 a month later, four years go by, and she got the groupie treatment. 
And that's what they're trying to cancel him for. And by the way, yeah, what makes it any different than this guy being like a fucking internet personality than anybody else? Because guess what, fuckface? Your favorite rock star? Your favorite fucking like pop star of the weekend? Oh no, they don't do that shit. They've never had groupies. They've never slept with <laughs> like, you know, people who were like way younger than them or any of that shit. Grow the fuck up. Uh, oh my like, god, grow here's the, the big, fuck up. And here's the biggest one. Like Drake. Like, oh my god, yeah, he, what the fuck happened to Drake? He like made yeah. out with a fifteen year old on his fucking yeah. stage. That's why like I that's why I'm that's um sorry, I'm trying to find my words here, but um I that's why I never understood the whole outrage out of this because David, let me tell you something right now. Like I always think a lot of people's outrage when it comes to the internet is always manufactured. It is almost never genuine because I always, exactly. always see, I always see just the same pattern. The pattern's the same, no matter what incident that you want to look at it. Now I'm not going to say that there were times when like when shit did come out about someone that, okay, it was legit. It was very vile. It was wrong. And yes, he should be punished for it. I'm not saying that those that those uh, occasions don't happen, but at the same time, though, like this is a basically a one of many examples as to why all y'all in the internet are fucking stupid. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> I'm gonna oh tell you. No, 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 let me tell you something. I I've always been like a bystander to this to all this shit, and I love being that because I get to laugh at all these fucking idiots who just like point fingers and be like, "Oh my god, yeah, he's a." He was this and that, and then literally... It's very like, Dennis yeah. of you. I and mean, more, I would expect nothing different of you, buddy. David, David, <laughs> let me tell you something. I always play the game in which I'm always going to be on top of everybody else. Okay? <laughs> like, that's how I always play the game, I'm guy. playing both sides. I'm playing both sides. So <laughs> that that's I always, always wind sunny. up on top of <laughs> And that's sort of what I'm doing here, too, man. I want to play a little bit of devil's advocate for Danny yeah. here in this end. I mean, don't, but he did do one shitty thing, but it's nothing illegal or listen, cancelable. Listen, but go on, go on. What it, were you saying? Listen, it's whatever, What? how he like basically goes to that girl. Sure, yeah, it is a shitty thing, but that's also just like dating nowadays. I, I It's kind of pains me to say it, but like, thing, like ghosting does happen. And it's a shitty thing, yeah. And like, you know, it's not, but also at the same time, it's not like they were in love. At least that's, I don't, I don't know that. Maybe they were. I don't know. Maybe, maybe she just really had the hots for him or maybe it was also for her. Maybe she just wanted to be like, Oh, I fucked my favorite musician and tell that to her friends because like, you know, that's how almost a lot of people are with famous people. It's like, oh yeah, I fucked Kobe Bryant. Oh yeah, fuck. Literally a fucking person. friends episode about it. You know when they you remember when they go see Hootie and the Blowfish? Yeah, yeah. It's like Monica's just like, oh my like she I made out with Hootie <laughs> and the Blowfish. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean that's... she's trying to hide it because she's not trying to make her friends jealous, but point is it's like it, she did it because it was something she fucking wanted to do. But I mean, yeah. I don't know, Monica's also a grown ass woman, so was this other woman, but whatever. Yeah, exactly. Like my whole point is, and like I guess this is just gonna be like putting my foot down on this and just basically just saying like in summary how I feel about this. I feel as if all y'all have way too much fucking time on your hands to be caring about this shit. Truthfully speaking, like thing, uh, I don't know why, because I know a, a lot of people who do watch Game Grumps, like they are a lot of like them are functioning adults, a lot of them are man children, like let's be honest. But at the same time, it's like, you know, this is kind of an example of how like you have way too much time on your hands, <laughs> like you have Dude. way too much time in your hands in your life to care about something that is basically have nothing to do with your life. <laughs> And there's also <laughs> nothing serious yeah. on top of that. That's yeah. the biggest thing, man. This is this is the scary part to me, Dennis, all right? Like, the original poster whatever claimed that this was proof that Dan sexted, slept with, and ghosted a young fan. But then, you know, he the way he phrases it is that, you know, this woman, what happened is that she was at least 22 when she was ghosted, but the live mm -hmm. show talked happened about in the post. It could have happened years later, but, oh, surprise, the original poster didn't clarify that. Wonder fucking why. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe it's because he wanted to make look Dan horrible of or of guess course. by contacting her. It's if he turned of 18 course. when it was less than a fucking month of before course. she was even going to turn 18. It's like, it's so full of shit. And then when you look at the pictures out of context and stuff, you, despite, you know, the evidence that, you know, he didn't do anything illegal or some shit, it's like. It, it, they can look like kind of bad out of context whenever you sex somebody. I used to sex my fucking ex-girlfriend. It's like, what is that going to be? Is somebody <laughs> eventually going to fucking use that kind of shit to cancel me? I don't get it. It's like, what is your fucking... 
What's your MO? I, 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 What's hope, your that, MO? I hope the dumbass like, who smashed his ninja sex party ring and made a fucking video of it enjoyed his 15 minutes of fame. I hope that guy realizes how much of a fucking jackass he is right now, knowing he'll never be able to purchase <laughs> that shit again and fucking break it. Performative. It's fucking performative losers on fucking yeah. gons, bro. Manufactured and that's the fucking ma problem. Man, like, people do it for clout! Outrage. Manufactured outrage. That's what it is. It's like I, it's I always, virtue signaling we'll is what yeah. it is because so much of it, a lot of people are you know, I'm not gonna no, undermine but anything. It's still vir virtue signaling is also manufactured, though. Let's be let's be honest here. Everything that all these people's reactions to this type of shit is always manufactured. You look it's good. You gain some followers for saying it. You know, some brownie fucking points. Fucking genuine. It's I don't understand. Like like <laughs> maybe this is also why like I'm not on social media too much. <laughs> but like I don't know. I see a lot of these people and their fans, and. I gotta be honest, like, I don't understand why y'all care about people who don't give a fuck about you. They and idolize I mean, them, that's why. Fair enough, but at the same time, though, it's like, you really got all this free time to just, like, be worrying about shit like this? And there's also, I'm also gonna be saying this, people are such mongoloids that, like, they are, they must be so... Is your life so bankrupt of anything that, yeah. like, this is what you're gonna be paying attention to? Go play a game, jerk off, go talk to friends, go outside, take a walk, do fucking something. Other than go on Twitter all fucking day, you fucking morons. You fucking idiots, get your life together. Dude, it's like, what am I trying to say here, man? Let me let me, let me, me gather my mm. thoughts just for a second here. Mm. These things can be taken so deliberately out of context. It's not even just a matter... And I'm not going to undermine the case of anything. You know, one thing that a lot of people are talking about right here, and I think they're talking about it, you know, in a kind of a weird context is the parasocial relationship between famous internet person and their fans, especially their young fans. Mm -hmm. That is something that gets exploited on the daily. It's literally the reason that the COPPA laws even exist. It's mm -hmm. so they can't, you know, create these weird parasocial relationships in such a level to the point where their advertising is directly targeted towards minors. That's mm -hmm. literally what COPPA does. It takes that kind of power away from, like, shitty creators. That's actually what it's, at least it was designed for. Give me one but, second. Uh, I'm gonna look this up. Keep going. Yeah, yeah, no, of course. And, uh, you know, people talk about the parasocial relationships, and I've even seen people, you know, like, brush off the fact just like, oh, so we're gonna brush this aside just because what happened, you know, was just legal and consensual. Yeah. Kinda. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> what are you digging for at this point? Don't get me wrong. Like, you're but grasping it, straws at this point. Like, like, whoever's saying this, it's like, come on, give me a it, break. Like, it's kind what of do you want? a shitty thing, whatever, that he would, whatever, he used his fame to fucking get with this girl. But yeah, guess what? All of your favorite fucking artists do it, and you still listen to them on the daily. Every fucking time fucking musician oh. does this shit i'm not fucking exaggerating here they all have groupies i do agree they with you on all that. have group bruno mars has a song where he's singing about fucking one of his groupies i, mean, I there's what mambo is number five so just Lube. because they fucking met when she was younger what's the big goddamn deal elvis did that his wife was like 15 when they first met, and he I think he waited until she was older, obviously, before he did anything. That's and I'm, not, and I'm not gonna lie. It's gentlemanly, but it is also kind of creepy uh, at the sure, same yeah, time. Fine, it it is both of those things. And, but uh, hey, he, he waited, though. I, I, yeah. didn't deal with, I think a lot of guys would, like, considering, like, what fame does to you, like, and how, it, you know, you know how, like, the saying goes, power corrupts. Fame is yeah. power. And at the same time, like, this is also another reason why, like, whenever I hear a lot of this shit that goes on with some of these famous people, Especially, like, in present day. I mean, I guess things were a little bit different back in the day. But, like, um, as far as, like, how news travels so fucking fast, like, throughout the world because mm -hmm. of social media and the internet compared to how it was back then. Um, a lot of times, like, thing, it's, like, uh, like within 15 minutes, like, you, you'll hear, like, this. Like, after it happened, it's, like, oh, uh, movie star had sex with, like, a minor who was aged, like, 15 in the span of, like, 15 seconds. And, mm -hmm. and here's the thing, when it comes to a lot of stuff, uh, when it comes to shit like this, and just putting it into the context of, like, at least myself, and I think, you know, if anyone, like, um, is not too, like, in their head, they kind of could maybe do the same thing that I'm about to say. Like, I do, I criticize the action, yes, but when I put myself in, let's say, that person's shoe. When you're famous, which a lot of us don't even know what it feels like to be famous. When you're famous, 
you have no idea what shit like that, like that kind of power does to the human mind. Uh, and like yeah. I said, power corrupts very easily. And I cannot tell you how many times I've read about people who literally did something terrible or at the very least, like thing they wherever they were at, they had no sort of like, I guess, any sort of inhibitions about their actions because one, they have never been told no in their lives. Or at the very least, they've won so much that they basically have no idea what no even means. Yeah. And when it comes to like a lot of at least one of the famous cases, like how we know of like Bill Cosby and even fucking Harvey Weinstein, they were pe- like they were rapists. They were serial rapists. Like, yes, they do deserve to be under the jail. I will always say that and I'll always even use them as like a prime example. They're like the Hitlers of basically molestation at this point. Like everyone kind of just sees them and points fingers. It's like, yeah, they're like the worst. And yeah, they are. But where I'm getting at is that, you know, I am not so like confident in like my own character and what i mean by that is that like if i was famous whoa like lord knows like of course like my first thought would be never to do that but when you kind of think in into these guys minds a lot of times they probably their minds are telling them yeah don't do that (laughs) but at the same time it's like when you got that much power like do you basically feel as if like oh i have no repercussions for what I'm famous. They'll just fucking talk about it or whatever and like just get the fuck over it. My whole thing is with this is that I think um Wow, I'm fucking sweating already. What the fuck? It's only 30 saying, minutes like, in. Like Dennis, you're yeah. what you're wait, you're not you're you're you, what are you talking about? You're perfect. <laughs> what are you talking about? You've oh, never Lord, done anything wish... like this. Your morality is amazing. You learned what grooming was yesterday by searching it up on Urban Dictionary. <laughs> Because that's what these fucking kids are doing, my friend. Yeah. My God, she was it, twenty fucking two oh, years just, old. Just some concluding thoughts on on like just what I was what I was kind of getting at is that um look at least as far as like Danny is concerned like I I honestly found it so funny that like there was not even a single apology video out of the green out of the Game Grumps channel at all. It was so funny when like I went through like two days and, and they just, posted a video like yesterday or today. Yeah, just, and like just I just and I just saw the feed and I was like, wow. And I, I just knew, like, yeah, that's some gangster shit. That truly is some gangster shit that they're like, yeah, it is not a, there's not, like, we're not fucking dealing with this. No, we're not going to talk about this. Or at the very least, like, we're not going to fucking give this thing any credence at all. Like, take your outrage and shove it up your ass is basically what they were saying through those, uh, through that, um, at least, uh, videos that were released. Like, not a single apology video. Nothing. Not even a, not even a thing out of Danny or anything. Literally. This was, like, I almost admired them, uh, at least I admired Danny in a way because that was basically him saying like, yeah, uh, this is not, this is a waste of my time. I'm not going to fucking talk about this. He also only has like Instagram. He doesn't even do Twitter or any of that shit, which yeah, but- knowing him is not surprising at all. He seems like the kind of guy who would like be so serious about like, you know, peace of mind and being like not going into that noise to the point yeah. where he wouldn't even have a Twitter, you know, like so many people hate that kind of culture, but I have a Twitter account. You know, I still see that shit. Uh, he, but whatever. That's that's neither here nor there. Uh, continue. Uh, and like I, I loved like thing at least their response or lack thereof to that whole thing. I thought yeah. that was handled very suavely at the very least. Like by doing nothing, they basically did. They basically responded in their own way by doing nothing. They didn't talk about it. They didn't even fucking had Danny in the front of the camera talking about it or nothing. And here's the thing. I again wasn't even looking into this. I just let this shit trickle in because like I'm uh, I'm still subscribed to the Game Grumps because at, le- at the very least like I was even thinking about unsubbing from them. But at- that sub is a more of um, a posthumous sub in the sense that like that I have for them, it's a posthumous sub because I have a like, lot of those. Yeah, like it's like stuff that I used to like, I don't really like anymore, but they still deserve that like subscriber because like they did like help me get through a lot like back in the day. Mm-hmm. So I was just like, oh yeah, you could keep that stuff. Fuck it, don't care. But, um, uh, yeah, I just kind of let shit trickle in. I didn't even, I wasn't even looking into this. I, I even saw, like, it's I mean, Reaganomics. Yeah, like, I even, uh, <laughs> I, <laughs> I even saw, um, uh, on Reddit a, uh, a fucking link to Rant Grumps about, like, this whole shit. And, like, I was really tempted to click on it, but I was like, in my head, like, I just told David I'm not looking into this. So I'm going to fucking keep true to my word. And I just swiped up and just, like, kept scrolling through my feed because. I wasn't, well, wasn't going to look at it, but, um, yeah, uh, I think, uh, y'all should move the fuck on from this and just shut the fuck up about it and please get on with your lives. If I could. This is, 
this is pathetic seeing all this shit. <laughs> if I could, you having a problem with Danny hooking up with somebody who is, you know, well, that much younger than him, you have every right to think that's creepy. I don't blame you. I mean, you think whatever the fuck you want, but like, at the end of the day, that's you projecting your morals. If you think his life should be over because of that. This is why I say it's virtue signaling, and it's why I don't understand any fucking dumbass people who say that cancel culture isn't real. Because I've seen people say that. And if you, because their argument is that like, oh, because it's not cancel culture, because whenever this happens, you know, the person did something heinous enough to deserve it. And that yesterday was clearly proof that that is not the fucking case. You know what I mean? It's like, I, don't get me wrong. You can think whatever you want. But at the end of the day, it's not your thing to decide. It's like, there was another woman who came out with this twit, uh, not a twit longer, or like this thread who was a friend of his, essentially defending him. She's like, why are you guys, th like, it's a subreddit that's specifically formed to try and it's ruin cancer. their reputations. <laughs> And she, like, she says she knows from her own experience that Dan 110% responds to texts or picks up calls to people he hasn't spoken to in years. There's been a ton of times where, because this woman was a lot younger than Dan, even mm -hmm. though they were friends, you know, whenever she came to visit, he always told her to bring a friend, you know, just so that she would be more comfortable because he knows that it's kind of inappropriate in that regard. And that's the kind of stuff when I hear that about Dan doesn't surprise me. Because we've, like, heard about this guy for years. We've heard him, like, on these podcasts for years. And we don't on know him. On the Let's Plays. We don't on know him. On the Let's Plays. And yes, we've we heard don't, his life through those. We don't know him in real life. That's the weird parasocial relationship thing that people are talking about, which people still say, okay, he abused his power to sleep with this girl, whatever. The thing is, mm. it's like, we, it, that's, I'd be more surprised if this shit turned out to be true it's like this guy always just tried to make this woman feel safe said they haven't talked in a couple of years fame changes people maybe i don't know don't want to say the claims are false and that's unfair to whoever was hurt by what happens but just know that there's a fucking huge leap between consenting sex with a 22 year old mm -hmm. and fucking pedophilia this is what bothers me dennis more than absolutely anything is that people were calling him a fucking pedophile already that mm -hmm. word is so loosely thrown around nowadays. Mm -hmm. It's so loosely thrown around. Yeah. It's like, I <laughs> swear to God, these kids on Urban Dictionary just literally found out what grooming means on it, and now they think that any adult ever having any conversation with a minor is grooming. You're like, that you're, you're being, careful, being careful drawing the line on that sort of front like that. And you know my stance on, you know, the Smash community and what they should do. I think bra eight brackets should be completely separated by age. Because I think it's inappropriate for adults to be intermingling with children as their peers. I think that's very inappropriate. But just because you interact with somebody that young, that doesn't mean that's the case. And this hits home for me, Dennis. All right? This hits home for me very, very hard. And it hurts for a couple of reasons. And I'll say this for one starting right now. And I'll, I'll sort of pour my soul out a little bit here. And, mm -hmm. you know, I lost my virginity to a woman who was 30 years older than me. You know this. Mm -hmm. you, you know this. You can literally attest to that personally. Mm -hmm. um, I was like 20. She was 50. I, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, she, she was. And um, <sighs> I loved it. <laughs> I fucking loved it. Are you going to tell me that I was groomed or some shit on that. I mean, I wasn't <clears throat> underage, but you know, that was oh, a yeah, very yeah. sizable age difference. And I see a lot of people who are complaining about that, who are complaining, oh, the age difference makes it inappropriate enough. The age difference, the age, shut the fuck up. Who cares? Who oh, cares? Be, ca be careful if with that. Both last consenting yeah, yeah. adults. Mm -hmm. If they're both mm -hmm. consenting fucking adults, mm -hmm. you know, in their mid 20s to somebody who's like older than them. Then at that point, just mind your own fucking business. I agree. <laughs> it's statutory when they're underage or they're very young. Yeah, of course. But, and I've also seen people who say like, oh, no, this was still this was still grooming because this mm. girl was 22 and the frontal lobe of the brain doesn't fully develop until you're 25. What? <laughs> what? First of all, first of all. Wait, who, has anyone said this to you? No, I, I just more shit I've seen online. Okay, First okay. of all, that's only true for men. Wait, wait, what's men's, true for men? Men's brains, like, don't fully develop until they're 25. Women's brains stop developing way earlier. A woman's brain literally matures a years ahead of a man's. That's just a fact. 
So the fact that they're using that as an argument is well, like what? Like why are you trying so hard to project your morals into other people's businesses, man? Yeah, it's a big age difference. You're allowed to think whatever you want. You can say it's creepy, whatever on that mm -hmm. front. But if my situation was, you know, reversed and it was like an older guy, you know, like mm -hmm. that much with a young woman, suddenly it's this devil's advocate thing. It's not okay because a woman who's 22, she's not capable of making her own decisions. Oh, fuck that. <laughs> Even though it's like some weird parasocial thing, as they say, mm -hmm. I guess. I totally understand that. Dan, ghosting this girl was pretty shitty. After just getting what you wanted from her, that is a shitty thing to do. But in the grand scheme of things, it's like, who cares? It's not worth losing, like, yeah. your career over. That's it's like, what, okay, that's give him shit thing. for it, sure. But it's like, you know, again, like, you guys really don't care. No, you, you don't. don't. Like, none of you really That's what I'm care. saying. None they of don't. You really it's fucking care. virtue signaling, and they're just projecting so their morals because stupid. they want to, like, just push their fucking Twitter fingers. Get the fuck off that's your the high thing, horses, man. you fucking no, idiots. No, I loved it. I lost my virginity to a woman way older than me. Bro, she was fucking hot. My boy. She was fresh. No, she was fresh off a divorce. Her husband literally cheated on her. She and she oh, so wanted, her pussy was really wet. Yeah, no, she <laughs> yeah, so she wanted some young dick, and I was able to provide that for her. It made sense, and I loved it. And you're gonna tell me that just because you think you're this fucking psychiatrist on the internet projecting your oh, morals yeah. everywhere, that what happened to me was grooming, that she abused me, I initiated that shit. Yeah, I came on to her. My boy I was knew, doing some alpha I, shit. I knew what the fuck I was doing. You're mm -hmm. not going to tell me that what happened to me was wrong. And not even just this. Like, it's my last girlfriend, right, mm. was also 10 years older than me. You like older women, don't you? I, I really do. <laughs> my, my last girlfriend <laughs> was 10 years older than me, right? And mm. I'll, I'll pour my soul here. I loved that woman. I loved her with every single fucking fiber of my being and my soul. Mm. I wanted to spend every waking moment of my life with her, and I did for the most part. And we mm. developed our own little language through the like, like inside jokes we had with each other to the point where we could just make a dumb inside joke. And we knew we were saying something completely different to each other that nobody else would understand. Yeah, yeah. And it the whole pretty much 2020 in quarantine for me has been about, you know, doing everything I need to to get over that girl while I can't live a normal life. That's pretty much been, been that's pretty much what quarantine has been for me. It's been hell. I wouldn't wish that existential torment on anybody. It's all it's really been awful. It's been uh, this horrible emotional and existential torment through me throughout the first half of like 2020 and the first half of the quarantine. Mm. And if any if any fucking self-righteous piece of shit out there is going to tell me that all those feelings weren't actually real. They mm -hmm. weren't valid because of this power dynamic between the two of you because she was older. If you're going to tell me that I was tricked into feeling the way I did about her, like I wasn't in love with her for months before I got to be with her, like I didn't have to watch her mm -hmm. be with this abusive ex-girlfriend and, uh, not ex-girlfriend, her ex-boyfriend <laughs> and shit. Maybe she swung both ways, we don't, I don't know. Well, I, I mean, no, she did. That's, you know, part of the <laughs> That's literally okay, that's literally yeah, part sure. of the reason. Oh. That's literally the reason we split up. Uh, I was talking about the 50-year-old. <laughs> no, 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 not her. Yeah. This is a different mm -hmm. woman. If mm -hmm. you're going to sit here and tell me that all of that was just like me, you know, being young and stupid, you didn't understand that they were abusing you because of the older, the power dynamics, go fucking fuck yourself, you piece of fucking shit, you know, pushing your morals out there, you know, like just because you know what yeah. grooming is, which you clearly don't even really do, mm -hmm. You have no fucking right to tell me what that shit was. What are we so? What are we doing right here? What, what are we doing here? I, I dated a woman who was ten years older than me. That means when I was seventeen, she was twenty-seven. Oh God! <laughs> oh God! Let's cancel her. Let's go cancel her. Even though she didn't fucking do that to me, she didn't ma manipulate me. She loved me, and I loved her. At least that's what it seemed. But you know, that's not the point. Is it wasn't fucking abusive in that way mm -hmm. just because there was an age difference just because there's a fucking age difference that doesn't magically mean that it was grooming or it was pedophilia Man. like my fucking director for like my high school play which was like a big you know experience for me in terms of coming out of my shell and everything mm -hmm. that dude was married to one of his students you know he like he taught like college and there was a woman who was i think he was in his 60s and she was in her 40s or something Ooh. like that and they were together i think i didn't even realize that 
who fucking cares? They're both consenting adults at that point. And it's like, don't get me wrong, when they're younger, obviously if Danny had sex with this girl when she was below 18, oh, yeah, yeah. that's a completely the, different the, fucking the story. The dynamic like entirely just changes at that point. But exactly. Like, you know, for your in the case of your director and like uh, his, uh, his, his wife, Mm -hmm. um, and, and to anybody thinking I'm a fucking hypocrite for like saying, oh, well, you know, we believe the Naro story when that came out. What makes this one so different? That one was like about, you know, wasn't about grooming. It was about a guy literally having sex with a minor who was at the age of 15 years old. That was a completely different thing on top of the fact that he didn't deny it. He didn't, he didn't deny oh, yeah. it. He just went away from the community, deleted all of his shit. We, what were we supposed to believe at that point? That's a different thing entirely. All the facts that we had presented to us were different. Even yesterday, you know, like, the facts presented to us, they were sketchy as hell. Mm -hmm. You know, like, the accounts weren't even there. It was, like, all this stuff that was deliberately taken out of context to make, to just try and ruin this guy's fucking oh, yeah. reputation, mm -hmm. it seemed. And you want to know the worst part of absolutely all of it, Dennis? Mm -hmm. it undermines and will now ruin any other future victims stories when they come out okay. they their I, actual stories of abuse I, now I suddenly look less legitimate because of a false story that came out all because some stupid fucking veiny headed 19 year old prick in his parents basement wanted to get his little internet points in and, you know, just think think he was doing a right thing by fucking, you know, talking about this story that had no fucking substantial evidence to it and thinking he was doing this amazing thing. Now, actual, the thing you were actually trying to do in terms of, like, creating these safe spaces and letting victim stories be heard. Now, the original poster of that person who came out with that story against Danny Sexbang, you accomplished the exact fucking opposite of what you set out to do, and you just made it ten times harder for actual victims to come out with their stories of abuse, because now more people aren't going to believe it, because they're going to say it's going to be another Danny Sexbang hoax or story of like that. So whoever the original poster of that was, honestly, bro, fuck you. You're a fucking asshole utter complete moron and you literally made the whole environment of stories coming out with their abuse cancel culture these internet celebrities and their fame power abusing whatever you just made it 10 times worse congratulations fuckface let me let me also say something uh in regards to but he apologized so said. it's okay <laughs> in regard <laughs> the thread was fucking hilarious he was like no, guys, I'm, really, I'm really sorry guys i'm really sorry i deserve all of that like dude the game grumps should, they should sue that kid they should actually sue that guy for, for defamation. They really fucking should because, like, Dan's... There's there's gonna be a sector of people who are gonna hate Dan forever now because of this. It's Th not gonna matter. There's always been a sector of people who hated him. Yeah, but it's worse. It's not that much worse, man. Ah, what, what it's the, it's what as bad fuck, as it once was. What the fuck was, do you know? You're a basement like, dweller, too. It's about as bad as it once was when John, like, thing left. It's the same fucking, like, level of shitty... Which, by the way, is what I'm like pretty that. sure that fucking Rant Grumps thread is even about. I'm pretty sure those people are all still just salty that they fired John for being a racist. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they're all still just mad about I, I that. I still love me some John, though. I still no, John Tron is absolutely hilarious. And, you know, yeah. I think some of his opinions are kind of sus. But holy God, if you go back to some of the old game drums... But like, he's but, genuine, too. Though. I he know, never but he drops so shit, many N-bombs. It's like, dude, I whatever. I don't care. I know you don't, but, dude, I gotta be honest. You can't do that. That sure, is... but I don't care. That's that's my whole take on it. No, no, I, no, I, no, I, no, no, I understand. No, no, I understand. No, no, I'm not no, no, fucking David. fighting no, 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 David. you. I'm not fighting you. Listen to me first. Listen to me first. The magic coach has spoken. I also agree with what you're saying because even I know that there is an etiquette to this shit. There is a set of unwritten rules that you must follow. Yeah, because I don't think I got nothing to cancel for. So what the fuck? The other day you said. Yes, David, that word. I'm allowed to say that word. Oh, yeah. God, my head. Because I have nothing that people could cancel me for. That's I could cancel you by... It. I could cancel like you. I'll, just, I'll take what you... What do you know? What do you know about me? I'll take you to the fucking... You know, I'll cancel you in real life. What are you going to do? Prevent me from leaving my house? I already do that anyways. Next. Put, no, put two in the back of the dome. Two in the back of the That's dome? That's how people used to cancel each other back in the day when men Yeah, if you were, were in the men. mob. If you were in the mob. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, that, like, that takes cancel mob to a whole nother meaning. Yeah, we gotta go cancel this motherfucker and just puts two in the two in the chamber. <laughs> you remember that part? You remember the part of Goodfellas when Tommy DeVito gets fucking canceled? <laughs> <laughs> and he even realized God. it too. He was like, oh no. God, imagine like being fucking Robert De Niro's like, you've just been canceled. And he just shots, he shoots him like twice.
He was just like crying about his friend being cancelled. He's like, I'll never be able to post again. <laughs> but my whole thing is, is that, again, I do agree with what you're saying. There is an etiquette to certain things. However, comma, I am not, okay, I'm not going to say like, I'm not too long for this world or whatever, but like, life is too short to give a fuck, really. Like, to give a fuck about things that really, in the end, don't really matter. And here's the thing, too, that I want to say about some of these uh, fucking basement dwellers on the internet and on uh, uh, Twitter. Internet people are so fucking stupid. They're so fucking back, back like, just wired so retardedly that they could corrupt something. They could corrupt anything, essentially. They could corrupt anything that's even good. Like, fucking, I'm not saying victim stories are good, but that's, like, something that, like, you should fucking give a fuck about. Not to mention even, like, just having, um, like, like, even social justice, even though it's become a meme at this point. Like, for me, it's, like, anyone who kind of, who does deserve their comeuppance should get their comeuppance. But, again, that's also a tricky slope, even I'll admit, because, again, these fucking basement dwellers have even made that difficult. You, you get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, they've corrupted everything from the shit that was fundamentally positive and good to even further corrupt in the shitty shit <laughs> like, they've corrupted both ends of morality exactly I don't understand. it I, makes I it don't, worse for I literally everyone I, you know exactly which is like it blows my mind i've been on this podcast for basically like 10 weeks now i think 11 now at this point yeah me but, too um, dude yeah yeah <laughs> and like the more we talk about this shit it gets me even more angry because typically like i like to think that I'm good a fairly calm sort of person outside of this podcast more than me i i've i have gotten angry with a lot of shit like you should see me i rant like bill burr with my girlfriend <laughs> about a lot of shit you should rant she, like bill pretend i'm your girlfriend they, and rant like bill burr here i want to nah, hear nah, fucking unfiltered nah, nah, dennis no nah, nah, i can't i can't do that because then uh, i hate fuck her afterwards so like i can't do that well with skip you. that part no, obviously, yeah, yeah, obviously yeah, fucking... exactly. that's what that's my whole point though like i can't do that with you because that's my whole process. Well, you're at your computer. Like, afterwards, just fucking, no, like, turn the podcast no, off. No, and- sorry. No, I can't do that. I can't do that. That's my whole process, and it's sacred to me. I rant about shit that probably I shouldn't even give a fuck about. So you're just in your but girl, I- and, like, you're just screaming, like, oh, no, there's an epidemic I rant, of gold rant digging whores in this country. I rant first, and then fuck afterwards. And my God, does that fuck feel so great <laughs> afterwards. Let me tell you, my man. I believe it. Like, fucking just getting all that hatred out, or at the very least, kind of having some left in you, and then fucking afterwards. <laughs> yeah, let me tell you, like, there's like some real beautiful part of, like, I've, of something, of like, of that. that I've just heard, makes me, like, love it. I've heard some women say it makes it taste different. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, wow. She's like, you know, like some hypothetical girl just like taste the semen. It's like, wow, you could really taste the hatred. Ooh, that's it's hot. hot. <laughs> oh, that, that's a little saltier. It's like, ooh, it's hot. <laughs> That'd be so fucking wild if, like, literally being angry while fucking literally made your jizz taste saltier. That'd be wild. Uh, that that would be an, a meme of it itself. It's like, wow, he's so salty. Even his jizz is salty. Damn. <laughs> it's like you just come wow. home, just come home from a Smash tournament and fuck your. I mean, you don't have one because you're a Smash player. But you just come home mm-hmm. from a Smash player and you fuck your girl, like from a Smash tournament. You're like <laughs> mad as hell. <laughs> God, fuck, Joker. David, I'll, I have a random question about this. When you coming up from, when you coming home from a tournament, right? Which I haven't done in a year and a half. I mean, you know, as we all have. Uh, I, I can't even go to fucking card shops to play Yu-Gi-Oh right now. I really want to, but like, I can't even do that. But um, I can smell two- that from here. <laughs> Oh, please, like, you Smash players smell, like, hygienic, too. Yu-Gi-Oh! players are worse. That is a scientific fact. Yeah, okay, whatever. Anyways, two things. What do you think is worse when you're coming home from a tournament? You getting second? Or you not even beating the uh, round of 16? Uh, not beating round of 16, because if I got second, I made money. I don't know, man. I think, for me, I'd hate coming home second. I don't it's know, man. Just, Tri-State's no, no, no. a fucking stacked region, dude. No, 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 second no, is impressive at a Tri-State I, local. I know. And even just, not even talking about Smash in general, but just like, in, let's say, in just a tournament in general, like for esports or whatever. Coming in second would make me really get more mad than losing at the round of 16. It's because of the fact that, like, you just won away. Like, you just kind of, like, it's, it, it could be a variety of things as to, like, why you got second. But it's like, you know, 
when you when you come home second, like you're in your head the whole time, you know? It's like because you keep thinking like, oh shit, I could have done this differently, or maybe I shouldn't have done that move. Maybe I could have done this. Maybe I could have done that. Welcome and to Smash, in head, brother. In, in just even professional anything, really, sports or otherwise, like think, just even thinking of like, um, uh, not even like yeah, just Smash or games. Like yeah, just thinking anything professionally done, like as far as sports or esports goes, like just even like, you know, just knowing that like, oh, you, I could have just if I just done this, I could have done that. And like I would like you know I wouldn't even want to have sex that night. I'd be mad at my girl, hypothetically speaking, if I was like then coming home. Oh, from the Dennis, that's and a slippery. That's a slippery slope. Uh, be careful. <laughs> I'm never gonna be in a fucking professional uh, sort of esports setting at all, or even like in any sort of like that kind of uh, environment. I was more so I'm, saying being mad at your girl for losing at a Smash tournament. No, 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 no. I wouldn't get mad at her for that. It's just like, you know, she would think, okay, like it, like you know, let me have, you know, like. I mean, as if sex, like, sex is not really meant to be a pity thing for anybody, but it's like, you know, it's like, oh, maybe I'll help him, I'll, I can make him feel better if I have sex. Like, I would get so angry <laughs> if, like, if I was in my head like that and, and like, I was just so angry because, like, I got second. Because, like, there's just something so bitter about second, <laughs> you know? Yeah, like, I get it. Like, like, you know, it's like, oh, I could have just, like, imagine one of those, um, you know who I always think is, like, the most unhappy motherfucker whenever I see after the Olympics they get on the stands and the podiums and like they present the medals to like the athletes Mm -hmm. the most bitter fuck is the guy who got silver (laughs) every time that I've seen these people get silver like they they always smile or whatever because you know it's for the cameras but it's like I know you hate you hate the guy next to you (laughs) you hate your coach you hate everybody (laughs) you're gonna go back to that hotel room hating everything and everybody you're gonna go and kick a fucking puppy when you're going back home today i've That's seen smash players literally like be. make little twitter videos throwing out their second place medals when they get that shit it's it's a thing in competition they get salty oh yeah of course I, um, that's why yeah that's why, that's why i ask because like you know i know you're in like that whole setting and like right, as right, far right. as competition goes like i i mean i've only been in one competition in my life and that was a taekwondo tournament when i was like fucking eight years old or something I got gold all across the board. I don't know what the fuck being a loser feels like at all. So, like, oh, wow. <laughs> Basing it off that one experience when you were fucking eight years old. That's, like, that's why I don't I don't know what feeling like a loser feels like at all, my guy. I'm a winner chicken dinner every day until I go into another <laughs> professional setting and probably get my ass whooped like right off the bat. What like, about you, Gio? What do, you, do you lose at that? Uh, I haven't even gone to a tournament yet. I, I've just oh, recently, because here's the thing, I just recently got back into it. Okay. And I want to go into, like, um, you know, a, a local tournament or something. But, like, you know, all the places that at least um, that usually host the events, like, thing, they're not open right now. So, like, I can't even go. And uh, I've just been playing with Monk's friends and shit. And, um... Did you just but, say Among Us? Among Us, Among Us, Among Us, Among Us, Among Us, Among Us, Among uh, Us. Yeah. Um, Dennis, oh, do you want to... Uh, go ahead. Oh, and, uh, yeah, so I don't know what feeling like a loser feels like, David. So, you know, they go for it. Like, your boy here is always a winner. Yeah, well, if you, uh, you ever want me to make you feel like a loser, uh, I can show you my new headshots. <laughs> I can show you some of those, fucker. You want to see, you want to see that? You want to, you want to feel here, ugly? Here, here's the thing, David. And here, I will actually be impressed because one, I'm not that good at uh, first person shooters. I love them. I've never. Oh really no, been no, too no! Good <laughs> I had professional headshots taken. Oh, Dennis. oh, oh, oh! Okay, okay, my bad. I thought you were gonna talk, I didn't think of that. Call it dirty. I thought you were gonna have like a montage video for me. Bro, like, yeah, bro, 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 bum, 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 Mm. about about danny you know most were like you know, anonymous things or whatever stuff that had like you know really no substantial things to it mm-hmm. another bizarre wrinkle in the game grump story and i found this online is that mm. uh one of the accusers right this comes mm. from uh i think super space dad on twitter oh you know he's just a well-functioning person in society oh super space dad sure yeah. uh i don't know uh he says this a former assistant to dan right probably beats kids wrote a play <laughs> wrote a play about their relationship Pretty, trying pretty to portray Dan as a predator. It's pretty cringe, yo. And as a result, she kind of just wound up making herself look bad. And the Dan standing look innocent. Basically, uh, was this woman, I think her I think her name was Katie or something. Katie Schwartz confirmed that her play, Bad... Oh my god. The play was called Bad People, by the way. What, what was about Dan from title. Game Grumps. 
What an imaginative fucking And calls title. Dan a predator. She made this whole, like, Snapchat post. To be clear, in all caps, Dan Avidan is a dangerous man and a predator. I won't answer more questions, but there it is, folks. Let my play and my writing speak for itself. I'm not kidding. That's what this shit says. Reposting the link. And then this guy, like, posts, like, his review of the play. He goes, like, yeah, watch the play. It's literally they hook up, she catches feelings while Dan wants to keep it casual, she gets clingy and obsessive so he gets uncomfortable and puts distance between them, she gets her feelings hurt and claims he's abusive and toxic. The end. <laughs> it's like an hour of her trying very, very hard to uh... paint him as the villain because she's salty that it... he wouldn't fuck her. Yeah, I was about to say, like, that's basically what this feels like. It's like, you got, basically, yeah, you got angry that he didn't want to fuck you. And you got all this animosity built up, and you just had to fucking put it through an avenue somewhere, so therefore you made a whole play out of it. I swear to God, people are so fucking dumb. I think incels is mostly a man problem, in terms of, like, you know, toxic masculinity and the weird parasocial relationships between, nah, like, girls those kinds of dudes and their OnlyFans, but yes, girls can thank be goofy you. Too. Girls, girls can, can be fucking incels, and women are goofy simps. Too. Trust me, women are simps, dude. I have my own experiences with that kind of yeah, shit. Yeah, lesbians are a thing. Of and, course they're simps, and, too. And, <laughs> it doesn't even for that. Yo, women, are, women have been simps for guys. That shit happens. Nah, but I'm talking about, like, at least from the other side of the spectrum. Like, I, oh, from I the think, other side of the spectrum? No, I think it's yeah, definitely, I, I, it's more common in lesbians. Like, trust, like, fucking I, I trust me, even, it's uh, more common in lesbians. Wait, wait, hold on. Trust me. I bet me. even, like, uh, gay guys probably got, uh, probably have some simpness in them, too. Like, Hell yeah. I mean, I mean, when it comes to, like, even... Like, it depends, this, uh, it's a personality, not this, a sexuality thing. This is why I said, like, thing, like, internet people are so fucking stupid, and they've corrupted everything from, like, the shit that we hate to the shit that we love. They literally corrupted everything. And that's what worries me. I, that, you know, it worries me, Dennis, because you're exactly right. They've corrupted it, and it's the kind of thing that literally is going to make actual victims and stories of abuse less legitimate. They're just making everything worse by forcing upon themselves doing the right thing, man. Like, I just... What, what's the word I'm looking for? And in terms of writing, too, like, uh, bitch, you gotta get over it. Yeah. Like, you, you literally yeah. gotta get over it. Yeah. I've, I've literally been writing about my experiences, right, with a with an actual love triangle I was in with two women. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of them is one. One of them is one of my ex girlfriends who mm -hmm. was obsessed with another person. Who and I don't know this for a fact, but just with the way that she acted and stuff, mm -hmm. and with the way some people talked about it and whatnot, that I'm pretty sure she was into me. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, that wouldn't surprise me in the slightest at all. They still had me blocked on Twitter too. Like they unblocked me for a little while, and then it was like mm -hmm. back in like August or July or something. They like reblocked me again. Which if you're if you're gonna go ahead and block somebody that like you haven't spoken to in already like a year and a half, you you don't do that. That takes mm -hmm. effort. You don't go and like yeah. block somebody <laughs> I know, who fucking I know. like if I didn't if like oh Dennis says like hey David. Fuck you. And then like, oh, right, boom, we don't talk, I don't talk to Dennis for a year and a half. Obviously, not the I, hypothetical situation. Like, cause watch, Dennis, what, what, you got something to tell me? I've actually dropped a couple of ninja fuck yous on some of your threads, but like, I always get sad that I never got any replies back for them. <laughs> I haven't seen them, are you serious? <laughs> yeah. Where, when have you there done was, that? There was, um, there was a post that you put up, I remember, um, I think it had to do like, um, like a topic about friendship. And I and I basically just no. Was, you said fuck you on that post. Yeah, I was like, because I think you oh, said like, it's like, no. why do you care about people like thinking he'll boobity blah blah. I and remember the, that right exact tweet. Fuck. And then right on the bottom, I was like, fuck you. And then like another guy right afterwards tweeted. To you. <laughs> I don't know if I got lost I didn't in like the see paperwork. It. Yeah, but um, man, it didn't even was... show up for me. What the fuck, Twitter? Yeah, that was uh, that was. Oh me. my god, can Twitter be any more shitty? This whole this whole no. podcast should literally okay. just be renamed Fuck Twitter. It, it, it's pretty shitty enough as it is. Holy and shit. I uh The point I, is it's I, like, I you know, like how, with anything I, I, you know, feel about those two women and how salty <laughs> I used to be towards them, mm -hmm. I've tried to let wounds heal as best as I can and I know I'm going to see both of them again one day. Like I know that for a fucking fact. Yeah. You know, but um I'm not I, when I was right when I'm writing this, it's not my goal or my intention to paint them as the villains or anything like that. I'm as self-aware of, like, my own misdeeds and my own growing pains and my own growing experiences that God, we had. God, if only people were like that in general. Th that we had in that <laughs> dynamic. But this whole woman literally made a whole play about how much of a shitbag Danny Sexbang is just because she didn't want to fuck him. That's the most pathetic thing I've ever heard in my life. And I think about the fact that that woman has a published play and I don't. Probably because I never finished writing a play. If... If but was, regardless, if that play was about me, though, I would feel kind of flattered. It's like, wow, you hate me so. Here's the thing: I'll, I'll always even say this. Women's Same, like I'm not gonna like, lie. If like somebody hated me so much that they did something yeah. like that, like women's hatred is almost the same as their love. 
I, I still believe that fully 100%. And like, <laughs> this is just basically them telling me that like, it's like, I hate you so much that like, you know, I, I still want to fuck you too. But I hate you. <laughs> it's like, okay. Like, I'm not going to touch you with a 10 foot pole, but you know, like, I feel flattered all the same. But you making this play about me? Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't really like the whole pedophile, uh, the whole pedophile label, but you know, like, still flattered, you know. So, like, <laughs> like, yeah, like, you know, just maybe do some revisions here and there, but you know, it's, yeah. it's like, nah, I'm not gonna do any revisions. This is perfect the way it is. I'm like, I already see like ten spelling mistakes here in you, bitch. Like, fix it, make it better. At least for me, because yeah. you know, because I you know you call you call me a pedophile in this fucking thing. <laughs> it's like you always want to believe the victim. That's the hard part. You always want to believe the victim. And there were people, even after the Smash July thing, which I talk about a lot on here, who literally said, always believe women. Always believe victims. And at the time, at the time, I very much took that to heart. David, you've grown. But guess what? It's situations like these that are going to make all those fucking dumbass incel men out there and the kind of guys who say all women are all women are thoughts, all women are bitches, and who genuinely believe that, who don't even say it as a meme. Mm-hmm. actually not believe women when they come out about their stories now because some 19 year old prick w- thought he was doing a good thing <laughs> by making that threat on the internet it literally ruins it not even just for danny's reputation it ruins it's, it for future victims okay, of though. coming i know i know yeah, he's gonna yeah, be okay yeah. but the fact is it just makes literally everything worse why do these people actually think they're doing good things here's the reason it's because they're usually young and stupid like this kid was. He yeah. was 19 when this guy made get, made this thread and got all this attention. So for definitely like, young and stupid. For yeah. what he did. Yeah, definitely young and stupid before the actual timeline of events came out. It's like, fuck, am I... Were, was this woman that I lost my virginity to a bad person for doing this? No. It was a growing experience for her too as it was for me. It was a good thing for both of us. I was 20. I was tired of being a virgin. I won't fucking oh, yeah, fuck yeah. around with you on that front. I was pretty tired of it. And this woman was fresh off mm-hmm. of divorce, you know, from a guy, from her husband who she was with for years, literally came home one day and caught him in bed with another woman. That fuck, that does things to you. And oh, yeah, of course. So it, so it was a healthy rebound for her. It made her feel mm-hmm. really sexy. And then there was my actual ex-girlfriend who I was very, 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 very much in love with. There's still a, there's still a part of me that very much loves her. Mm-hmm. And... You know, she didn't fucking groom me, man, just because there's an age difference between us. If you think that there is just grooming or just abuse happening or some sort of weird power dynamic between two people, just because one of them is older, that is not always the case. I mean, there's the power dynamic and the fact that they are older and they're wiser. They're usually, (laughs) usually, I I mean, I'll say usually on that front. And Mm -hmm. they'll know more stuff than you, which can create that sort of power dynamic. Mm -hmm. But I was in there out of my own volition. I wasn't tricked or manipulated into anything like that. I mean, uh, I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, I guess in one way, I sort of... No, no, no. Whatever you're going to say right now is going to invalidate your whole thing. Um, Yeah, I I, I am thinking about that. But, you know, I mean, one one of the things was about her validating her sexuality and, like, you know, threesomes and stuff, which obviously as a young dude I was very much into. It's stuff that never wound up happening but didn't matter because we were both still very happy with each other, you know, and until, obviously, until, you know, whatever we, uh, we split. Sort of put some of that into perspective for me, Mm. but not really. That's pretty much, that's, that's neither here nor there point is it's like you're these a lot of these people what they're doing by prancing around the word pedophilia and stuff they're not only completely like misnaming what it is and like throwing around a very 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 yeah. fucking serious yeah. word and they're a very serious accusation that's the thing that which, i'm worried about too they just it, throw it around willy-nilly throws just away its meaning nothing. it yeah. like it diminishes its meaning mm-hmm. and guess what only gives power to more actual pedophiles that's what that yeah. shit does. You're literally accomplishing the exact opposite of what you do, of what they want to do, or what they claim they want to do, because the fucking cancel mob is so obsessed with just like you know their little points of yeah. internet fame and just like talking about the latest strat. Don't get me wrong. If I thought it was true, I would have been devastated about Danny too. But I would have thought to myself, he, you know, he's a human. He made a mistake. Whatever happens to him, or what was what happens to him, those were yeah. his repercussions. But everything that he taught me. And everything that I learned from him and every all the times that he made me laugh that helped shape me and my character are not suddenly gone. I'm still me. Mm-hmm. And he helped me with that, even though I've never met the guy. You're going to tell me that all of that is suddenly not valid anymore just because the guy made a mistake in his life? Fuck you, man. You've made a mistake in your life once before, mm-hmm. too. And I'm sure you mean a whole lot to somebody, even if you yourself out there, whoever you are, don't believe it. Because you don't believe yeah. in yourself. 
and even just bringing up another example of like how like i think a lot of people just kind of go crazy with like um the whole bandwagon when it comes to like outrage and shit like this like that whole thing with louis ck i don't know if you ever heard like thing what happened to him but it was just like he like jizzed in front of like a group of friends and like thing the fucking uh, woman that was that one woman that was there like just came out and said like yeah he uh sexually assaulted me but like when what actually happened was just he just basically jizzed on his fucking stomach and i remember one comedian in general yep. um uh, uh dave Chappelle, like thing he's like he was like saying like you know oh yeah i heard that shit it's like i had many i had busted many nuts in my day but none of them were newsworthy <laughs> Oh wow! And uh, his whole thing, and at least uh, I'm gonna at least tie it in with like everything that's been going on. It's like, you know, don't give so much fucking credence to shit that you always hear off of the internet. And even going back to like thing how, um, you know, uh, when these victims come out and have these stories and tell them, and like you know, that is like a brave thing to do. My whole thing is though, is that I have a very hands off approach to a lot of this shit. Only because of the fact that, like, you know, I, I'll, I'll even give the, I'll, I'll even give them just a little credit for this. These fucking uh, mongoloids who've corrupted everything on the internet, they've, uh, they've made me even more jaded because when I hear these stories come out of these victims, like, thing basically saying like the X and Y person like basically like abused me. Now I'm like. Okay, this story's out there. Now I'm just going to let that sit there. And just let that news trickle in. And I'll see where it goes from there. I never believe it right off the bat uh, anymore. Because I have seen so many cases where like thing people have, have come out. And it was basically either one turned out to be no big deal. Or two that they were lying. And almost kind of reminds me of this whole shit that's going on with uh, what is his name? Uh, Cuomo. In New York. And like the whole... All those fucking allegations that are coming out about him. Mm -hmm. And personally for me... Like I've... I haven't really read into it too much. I've just kind of seen like the headlines and shit. I haven't even seen some posts about like... Kind of like what... uh, People's opinions are about it. And personally for me... I'm like... I don't really think... It's that big of a fucking deal. I mean... You know... Maybe that one thing he did say... Where it was like... (laughs) I think someone straight up said like... He like said to me... That he likes younger women. And I'm like... Wow. Uh, uh, I'm like, here's the thing though, like, uh, how much young is young for this guy? Because I mean, if he's like just saying like 20 year olds and shit, and I'm like, which is like, I'm I'm assuming like the vast majority of his junior staff for like his um, for his uh, like you know to run his government and shit, and like even just his uh, his own like office staff that run shit for him, the secretaries and all that, like, yeah, typically secretaries are basically younger women, and truth be told, like thing, you know. Being a hot, hot-blooded male, like thing in an environment like that, it's like, you know. I mean, I, I'm. This is why I don't really judge him either, because it, it would be one thing if he legit grabbed her ass or grabbed her titties, like thing in in the office, and like, and she said like, yeah, he molested me, or, or like, you know, he touched me. Mm. That'd be one thing, but it's like <laughs> I don't know enough about the situation to judge. It, it, sure, um, but I think though. My, my whole point still stands though. Like, you know, none of you guys should be fucking always jumping onto this shit. Ready to believe everything that you fuck. Like, how did it go from when you uh, when you were on the internet, you didn't believe a fucking thing that people said, but now it's shifted to you believe everything that people say, even, like, the shit that obviously isn't true. Here's the thing, like, Dennis. how did it shift from that? What happens is that to these people, this is the cycle. You ready? Everyone's a victim until one of them isn't a victim, and then no one's a victim. That's the cycle. That is the cycle of sexual wait, wait, say abuse that again? stories on social media. Say that one more time. Fuck you, man. That was my moment. It was like the, the fucking big no, 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 thing no, no, that no, no, I no. said. No, 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 no. I want you to repeat and it now, for I, posterity's sake because I do agree with you, but I want you to repeat it for everyone in the back. Yeah, no, repeat it, it again, please. Everyone in the back already lost it, dude. They're already busting their nuts and um, their stomachs. I mean, I'm definitely going to go bust a nut after this, but... I'll I mean, I mean, d- probably same. Actually... <laughs> <laughs> Actually, not not today. If I'm being honest, uh, but please repeat what you said. I mean, they you know they definitely are if we're doing it live, like if just a live stage. David and Dennis, the double D experience live, and they if get to see did... they get to see us in person. Someone's oh nut, someone's nutting in the back. I'm definitely wear a mask or something. Like I'm not I don't, I'm not here letting people see my fucking face. They they they, they haven't deserved that right yet. I was gonna say even post pandemic. 
but that's not why he's wearing a mask. <laughs> no, it would be like he's some just... real uh, offensive Saudi turban or some shit. Oh, I'm ripping that face. shit off. I want everybody to see your face. No. I will wear a, an offensive Asian man mask. <laughs> Secret <laughs> Asian man. <laughs> no, but David, repeat what you said, because I liked what you said. I was saying the cycle of sexual abuse stories on Twitter and online, mm. it goes like this. Everybody is a victim. No matter what, everybody mm. is a victim. Until one of them is not a victim. And then all of a sudden, nobody's a victim. And That's how it works. And repeat, and then That's the and cycle. Repeat. Rinse yep. and fucking repeat every single mm -hmm. time. It's like there's no nuance. There, there's at no all. nuance anymore. Not because it, it literally, you'll have guys like me and you, who aren't fucking inbred, who will know <laughs> that, like, okay, here are the facts of this story. Oh, shit, this turned out to be true, so this person abused this person. And then another story comes out. Okay, this like story came out. This person abused this person. Oh, there's evidence. Turns out there it's not true, you mm -hmm. know. And we'll see it as that. But no, there there's some people who's like the shit is so nuanced who say like you know like always believe victims, which it's rough because you do always want to believe victims. And because if you look at the statistics, most of them usually do turn out to be true. But then at the same time, all it takes is one story. You know, all it takes is one story to, like, not be true, like the Danny Sexbang one that somebody just blows out of proportion because they're trying to cancel somebody that they don't like for people to think every fucking story where people come out on the internet about their victims and, like, their stories of abuse are suddenly not true because it's somebody trying to do the same thing. Also, let's not give too much credence to Dan's whole thing because, again, it's like, you know, it turned out to be nothing. Let's not give it any more credence than it already has been given. I'm giving it the credence yeah. for what it's due and being a perfect example of why cancel culture is not sure. only real, yes. but okay. is a fucking problem that is deterring actual stories of abuse. That's, that's the credence mm -hmm. I'm giving it. That's why I think the story is a lot more important than people give it credit for. And you know how much it hits home for me because I already explained it a couple of times. I've had a lot of experiences with older women that I don't want some self-righteous prick on the internet to tell me, yeah, you were, you were groomed. Oh, it's okay, sweetie. We'll, we'll take care of you because they just want, they have this warped image of themselves that they want to be, you know, this self-righteous yeah. prick who like helps victims of abuse when they're not even fucking abuse victims. Even according to the quote unquote victim for Danny's story, like the woman straight up herself said, yeah, he didn't groom me or anything, but I think he's he was kind of a dick because he ghosted her. And That's what it gotta, was. And everyone's got to get off their moral high horse. Too, everyone seems to be on, high horse. Everyone seems to be on one nowadays, and I think even COVID just kind of even exacerbated that to an extent because everyone's oh, are you home. kidding? Oh, everyone's hell just on yeah. Their, yeah! Everyone's on. Everyone's at home. Everyone's on Twitter. Everyone's on their fucking phone. Like they just always just typing away some stupid shit that like thing that I don't even know why any of you are fucking reading. Why are you reading this shit? Stop reading it. That's kind of hard not off. to. Go play a game or And also, even Dennis, like, in terms of jerking hell? off, you know, like, if you're a guy like me who's been really careful throughout quarantine and has not been hooking up with anybody, yeah. Dennis, porn loses its luster. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. I, I'm yeah. going to be real. I, I, I got to force myself that. sometimes. Most yeah, of the yeah. time nowadays, yeah. actually. And it's like, I'm, I'm like, oh, the fuck, what, am I gay? Uh, like what, what happened I've, I've been trying yeah, to like, like no, train that's myself not the case. i've been trying to train myself to like jerk off without porn or at least without any sort of like visual stimuli oh, i'm never going back it, it, it uh yeah that's that's some like that's some hard mode like playing on hard mode exactly <laughs> like i think to yeah, myself yeah. growing up yeah. before i even watch porn i'm like fuck mm. i really used to do this how I, like i usually just use like my spank bank and, like i just go off of that right but it's like you know when you're uh, when you're young too, it seemed to be so much easier. Now that, that I'm older, I feel just more old <laughs> inside. <laughs> like, cause like, you're old. Yeah, that's a that's a bad sign that like a fucking twenty seven year old saying that he feels old. And I even exercise too and shit. Maybe that's just me just from making up for lost time at this point. <laughs> but like, and um, Pokemon Go came out. Four and a half years ago. Feels wow. longer than that. Shoutouts to Pinkman, uh, Pinkman Go. Yes, I heard that. Thing. Mm -hmm. Yes, I did hear that. It's pretty hype. Uh, here's the thing. Here's what I'm going to predict. Here's, you want to hear my forecast for that game? It's going to be exactly what Pokemon Go was. The first Who's year. going to be the top uh, Pinkman Go player that will get canceled? <laughs> <laughs> Watch, it's you. <laughs> it's going to be me. <laughs> just, David Riverall like, is 
too tall, and I, I heard he has a really big dick, and he won't fuck me with it, so I hate him. Uh, like, I, I would never wish this upon you, but it's like, you lose your Nintendo ambassadorship and all this shit, like, think because of it, because, like, I don't know, like... They you, come in my house, take my PC. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's like, I paid 2K for that. And it's like, watch, they give it back to you, but you just find out that the 3070 is gone. <laughs> oh my god, someone's cashing hands. Someone's cashing fucking hands, bro. Holy <laughs> shit. I'm like busting down my door. I'm like, uh, uh, oh, took my graphics card. <laughs> and meanwhile, I'm over here still trying to get one. Yes, people, that is, is still an ongoing Plot twist, quest. bro. That is an ongoing quest of mine. Plot twist, bro. It was you, like under a burner account on Reddit. Nah, I don't want a 3070. I want a 3080. Well. There Even though have I have seen, as far as the performance goes, is not it's pretty good. Thirty seventy is pretty much yeah, like where you'd want to be. Thirty eighty is not even that much higher than the seventy, if I'm being honest. The third, I mean, the thirty eighty, I think it's got like some more overclock options, perhaps, that mm, you can yeah. make it really, 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 really broken. Mm -hmm. But like the thirty seventy is already fucking. It's ahead. Beautiful. It's already fucking ahead of its time. It, basically, it's a beautiful card. Yeah, as far it, as. Uh, mechanically and plus, I think even just like uh, the technology wise, it is. A beautiful piece of machinery. Yeah, I recommend I the love, uh, EVGA one if you can get it. The I EVGA love, triple fan. That's the one I recommend if you can get it because it not only it's not only not giving me any problems, it also looks amazing inside my PC. I'm literally looking at it right now. I've been looking at it throughout this whole hour and a half that we've been talking right now because just it's in the same peripheral as my microphone, so <laughs> it's just kind of there, flashing like David. Stop doing this shitty podcast. Play, Play zombies. <laughs> Play zombies. Uh, but uh, here's some closing statements uh, just from me. And uh, I guess, you know, David, you could chime in too. Of course. I think it's already been like an hour and 20. So I think we should wrap this up. No, I know. We're I knew this was going to be a long yeah. one anyway. Don't worry. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Just um, again. Uh, and guys, please leave. Um, leaving it down in the comments to get your guys' whole fucking uh, thoughts about this whole thing, what me and David said. Like, you know, I want to get like maybe a discussion going on. Okay, maybe not. Okay, I'm gonna lie about that last part. I'll prep. I'll probably be reading your comments if anything, and maybe replying to one or two. I remember there was this one guy that commented that did someone just say that he hated Chick Fil A? I was so close to fucking ripping that dude a new one and saying like, you like your goofy ass chick. Wait, did somebody say side? that? Yeah, it was like from like the, a couple episodes back where like um I, no, was, I remember the I was, episode I remember yeah, yeah. that rant dude don't yeah, yeah. You, don't show yeah, yeah. <laughs> some guy yeah basically uh, straight up said like things like did I just hear someone just say that he doesn't like Chick Fil A and yeah I was literally like I I don't know I, David let me tell you something when I was younger I got into f uh, comment wars all the time I'm older and wiser now and Same. I'm never gonna do I, that I did shit. too I, when I was I'm, younger I won't lie I'm never gonna do that shit again that is like the most fucking childish immature damn thing I've ever seen and like a lot of times one one guy who I watched um, used to say it best it's like oh yeah yeah like think nothing's more productive than a fucking YouTube comment thread <laughs> It's God, like, yeah, it's like yeah. he basically roasts his own fucking fans, and his fans still watch him anyway. So therefore, like, thing I'm pretty sure, like, YouTube comments are fucking meaningless. But at the same time, people just have to give their shitty opinions about so many fucking things because they just feel as if, oh my God, like, thing it's like I my voice has to be heard. When it's like, really, you got you what you got to uh, co contribute is about as substantial as a fucking uh, I don't know some bird shit. <laughs> I, I was trying to draw a comparison there, but mm -hmm. yeah, like, um. Uh, I think, yeah, guys, um, uh, my whole thoughts on the whole thing, again, just uh, TLDR is that um, I feel as if people should stop, like, giving so much credence to this shit. And at the same time, I also do agree with David that at least, like, you know, um, this, uh, you know, David's, uh, David has also agreed with me that, agreed with me that, uh, yeah, all these uh, internet basement dwellers and mongoloids have basically, like, corrupted everything from, like, the basically on both sides of the spectrum the good and the bad they've corrupted even the bad somehow too like which i it just blows my fucking mind like think how they even corrupted something like that or shit that's within like that like whole side of the spectrum and um and if if anything my advice to anyone like thing who kind of read into this too much is that i uh, don't again ever like don't ever read it too much into this shit ever again and at the same time like you know do your do 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 your due diligence please like, you know, what I I'm I'm not above thinking that a lot of people who do come out with these stories are legitimate. Of course, I think I do, but at the same time, though, it's like you gotta also kind of be able to smell the bullshit, huh? Please, like I wish there was more people giving that fucking nineteen year old shit than 
people no, basically coming out and comment. Dogged on. No, no, no. But like this should that response should have been the like immediate, even before he came out and said, "Oh yeah, I was full of shit." That's what I'm kind of getting. Which it wasn't. It was a whole day. Yeah, I get yeah. what you're saying. Yeah, because like you know, I, I like to give human beings like more, the benefit of the doubt. I honestly feel as if we're all going to die eventually, like 100 years in, uh, whether it be of our own making or something, I don't really know. But it's like, um, personally for me, it's like, I still at least have, like me being like the, um, what do you call it, the uh, the pessimist. I, I want to be pleasantly surprised. So please, do so. Mm-hmm. Because, uh, you know, your boy is losing hope. <laughs> what are you losing this hope the, in? This, uh, in humanity. <laughs> I've seen people do, done some stupid shit in this last year and a half alone that already tells me, like, wow, is this where we're heading <laughs> as a species? Now, I believe there's always been stupid people, but now stupidity because of the internet is on display for people to see. <laughs> yeah, it's, like, it's a, a, whole like fil- a that's a whole filthy Frank video. Like, and I'm, yeah. I'm happy he said that because I don't believe human beings, uh, maybe a little bit, I don't believe human beings <laughs> as a whole are really getting that much stupider. It's just now stupidity is fucking constantly for, out there yeah. for people to see because just of the plastered internet. on the walls and yeah, because everybody has a platform yeah. now you know yeah. which is which did not used to be the case yeah that was not the case before the internet I, dude i personally feel like for twitter it's like unless like you're a celebrity or like you at least have like four digits worth of followers get the fuck off twitter get the fuck off of it no one cares about your stupid ass opinions no one yeah cares and you about, could like, tell like, this like, kid was using it for clout because yeah. he's saying, like, I don't want all the new followers I've been getting. I don't yeah. want all of this. And the guy, I checked his account. He literally had 296 followers. Yeah. What new like followers? I, what like, fame are you talking about? Like, it's in his head. Of course it is, yeah. Like it's, it's All the DMs fucking, that he got, too. It's like, in his know, fucking head. He like, wanted that attention. I don't fucking nothing, care. Nothing gives young people as much of a dopamine, like, hit as seeing their inbox or their notification uh, go from zero to like 50 yeah. like nothing gives them more of a high than that and a lot of, for a lot of people that whose lives are basically bankrupt of anything interesting you know that's basically that's their life and you know if you cash in on that shit that's one thing but it's like you know you're making a business out of your social media and say like thing that's perfectly that's perfectly fine but it's like you know you're like some fucking no-name brat from some bumblefuck town of i don't give a fuck where you're at state and <laughs> Like, you know, again, I'm saying this to everybody. Like, if you're on Twitter and you got, like, you got, you're basically a nobody, get the fuck off Twitter. Just get the fuck off of it. Why are you on Twitter? And then people are going to ask me, why are you on Twitter? Well, I run a fucking podcast. (laughs) So, and I'm seldom ever really kind of commenting on on my said Twitter. But And when he does, I don't see them. Yes, which which is like, you know, I think Twitter is like silently canceling me. (laughs) Because they see how volatile this asian man from new jersey is but i'm shadow banned already but you when you get shadow banned before you even tweet (laughs) that's how you know that's how you fucking know this guy's got no filter i haven't even fucking tweeted anything no twitter hates you dude shut up i even i just retweet giveaways that i I, i'm a part of and that's it (laughs) they probably thought you were a bot then i'll probably yeah maybe but um uh that could be true but uh yeah um just case in point um I hope y'all lived and learned from this shit because, um, again, like, uh, this isn't going to be the last time something like this is going to happen. Fuck so no. Hope, so I hope to God that when something like this type of bullshit happens again, like, y'all will be a little bit more wiser. And, uh, yeah, again, like, let me know down in the comments, like, think what you guys feel about what me and David said, plus, like, this whole shit, like, that happened because I'm actually curious, uh, what a lot of you guys' opinions are about this. If you guys don't even know Game Grumps, okay, I don't even blame you, because, like, you know, I even stopped... I almost forgot that they existed for, like, a year. <laughs> yeah, no, I haven't watched them in a minute myself. Yeah. But, like, that doesn't mean that Danny doesn't have a very special place in my heart. You know? Save for Ninja Sex Party. Yeah. But, like, you know, it's like I just haven't listened to them in so long that, like, I almost forgot about them for a second. That's just, mm-hmm. like, at least my whole thing. But, um, yeah, yeah, again, guys, please, like, I want... Uh, I want to see like what you guys' thoughts are about all this shit. And if I could, in mm. my own closing thoughts, I would like to exemplify and uh, or exemplify, I should say, and prove what a proof. Jesus, I cannot English, and prove <laughs> what I'm uh, what I've been talking about in terms of stuff like this, trivializing actual victims and actual mm. stories of abuse. Y- you remember that shitty play we talked about about that woman who like 
you know, mm. like like a jilted ex in Hollywood writes a shitty play portraying their one-sided, blinkered view of their relationship. Yeah. Like, oh, this mm-hmm. was like this was the actual story. But that's how you know you're a fucking shit writer, by the way. And uh, <laughs> like that, you're only writing that kind of stuff from your perspective. I'm no professional writer myself, but you know, I'm writing a story about like you know, like uh, about a love triangle and a potential triad. I'm trying to have it be like from the perspective of all three as best as I can. Mm-hmm. It's uh, important to express that, especially when dealing with like different types of people. The guy who made this thread, like talking about how shitty this play was, he said that he himself or whoever they are, I should say, I don't know this person, that they themselves are someone who is a survivor of actual grooming and uh, an actual abuse by a sex predator. Mm-hmm. This person is an actual like survivor of sexual abuse. Mm-hmm. And he, and I quote, my mistake they and i quote fuck this shitty cutthroat careerist lady and fuck her stupid play that's what this person said trivializing abuse and wrecking someone's reputation to further your own hollywood career ambitions fuck you even cashing in on it too yeah like that's the, for like yeah mm-hmm. it's like apparently that woman eventually like came out and moved away from Hollywood because she admitted that she was a compulsive liar and had bad relationships with the women of Game Grumps and stuff. And it, it's like she literally <laughs> even admitted that she herself was like a compulsive liar about that shit and wrote a whole play based on her non-existent experiences with Danny Sexbang that she probably wishes were true. Oh yeah, of course. And uh, They'd be always be living in their own fantasy. There you go. There's an example of somebody making <sighs> something... There's an example of somebody taking something out of proportion... And leaving somebody and a lot of more people who are not vocal about it, who are actual victims of sexual abuse, in the dust. Yeah, if basically, that, if, that high isn't, and dry. Yeah. if that isn't proof that mm-hmm. not having any nuance and taking these things with such a minimal amount of evidence and not thinking about the context of these situations, if this isn't proof of how harmful it is when you jump to conclusions, nothing will ever be and things will never change. Because call mm-hmm. me crazy, Dennis, and mm-hmm. I know something. You're crazy. Like, uh, thank you. Uh, I know something <laughs> like this is going to happen again, like you mentioned. Mm-hmm. But when I saw this story, and you know, such a high-profile guy like Danny, it made me. Think, I mean, he is and he isn't. No, no he, I, is, I, he is and isn't. Yeah, yeah. but it, it made me think. I don't know why. I did have like genuine hope that this could be like a turning point for some people, at the very least. Maybe not. Definitely not the internet as a whole. But I think some people will maybe actually realize for a second, huh, maybe cancel culture is kind of a problem. Maybe it is real. And, you know, maybe, like, maybe, like, these stories are more nuanced and have more context than they appear. Because it's so Mm -hmm. many situations where, like, oh, 24 hours later, up, turned out it wasn't true. But at the same time, when these things come out on the internet, it's like, who are we supposed to believe? Because there's a whole sect of people who are saying we should always believe the victims, and I want that to be the case. I do. I I, I think that's important because mm-hmm. you know, like these, you, like w- women can't go to the cops about their stories. Because oh my god, in America, sex, and not even in America, in a lot of the Western world, really, sexual. No, the, even in the East, in the in East Asia too. It, pretty much in the world. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Pretty mm-hmm. much in the world, sexual abuse stories in the criminal justice system are not taken seriously. Mm-hmm. Not even just because like people don't want to take them seriously. It's because they're fucking difficult. They're, they're not easy. They're not easy cases to get to the bottom on. They're a lawyer's worst nightmare, I bet. Pretty much, like, yeah. yeah. Or, you know, being a public defender and having to defend, like, a mass shooter. Oh. There's that. There's also the public defender who's got to do that. Yeah. Press F for that guy. <laughs> but, uh, but, uh... Yeah, the point is, it's like, Oof. I hope... Mm. I did have a little bit of genuine hope after seeing this that some people would change their minds about this, but now I feel like I'm being maybe a little more realistic about it because like I've said over and over again in tonight's uh, podcast, which thank you Mm -hmm. so much for listening to, by the way. Yeah, please guys. Thank you. Uh, What was I? I lost my fucking train of thought (laughs) for a second. As I've said over saying you were getting real. You, as uh, I've said, were, yeah, that was, that was like to mm. be real with it. As I've said over and over again throughout this fucking podcast, if anything, I think because this story turned out to not be true and everybody immediately jumped on the he's a fucking pedophile train, mm-hmm. that, you know, actual stories are not going to be taken as seriously now when they come out and they're going to come out again. They're going to fucking come out again. I promise you they will. 
Mm-hmm. And uh, that's not even me speaking, you know, from the scene where I come from or, you know, even just the gaming world or anything. It's just because there are tons of victims who haven't come out with their stories. And guess what? Mm-hmm. You know how they, they you know how you always preach to us how victims don't come out about their stories because they're afraid to? Guess what? Because you jump to conclusions about somebody else's story, now they're fucking terrified. Mm-hmm. Now they're fucking horrified that they're going to get, you know, the same mixed reaction of, what if it's another Danny sex bang? What if it's another Nairo? What if it turns out to be like a fake like that fake? It's like, this is what you've done. You So this is why you need to really, at the very least, you can believe whatever you want when these come out. If like the evidence seems to be damning, which a lot but of people cute- said the evidence was damning, but mm. you got to be open to the other possibilities and just think to yourself, this might not be true. This within the hour. The hour that people that this guy dropped that post, everybody was already on the fuck dandy drain. That performative little shit made that dumbass video of him smashing his ninja sex party ring with a brick. Good. I'm glad he doesn't have that shit anymore. You know, you don't fucking deserve it for immediately jumping on that train. You know, I still have clothes that my ex gave me and stuff. What, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna be like some like little like post mortem pussy on the internet and make a video burning that shit. Nobody cares. Fuck you. Yeah, Literally, no one cares. <laughs> like, I remember, like, people after the Smash me, like, they're tweeting, mm-hmm. burn it all down. Like, shut the fuck up, you fucking loser. Like, God, you're not helping anything by doing that, man. Like, think a little more <laughs> nuanced on this front, my friend. Just <laughs> think to yourself. D- d- here are my closing thoughts. Okay, but I just want to say, you kind of start to sound like me now. <laughs> I hear a lot of me in you, right? Yeah, I know. I know you do. <laughs> just hear my closing thoughts. Think to yourself. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. If you actually care about social justice... Before you say some certain things online, before you freak out when another one of these stories come out, think to yourself, who, who is this actually helping? Are you helping the victims? Are you sure that they're victims? Are you ensuring that future victims will have an easier time coming out about their stories? Or are you going to be real with yourself sometimes and think, I'm doing this because I'm angry. I'm saying this because I'm angry and I want some type of repu- retribution and I want attention. I want a little bit of attention for that to validate mm-hmm. my feelings on the internet. Everyone's done that. Everyone has done that. I don't care who oh, yeah. you are. Everyone has done that on some scale when it comes to these like cases of sexual allegations that literally weren't even true. People do that on a massive scale. So that's what I want from you. I, I want you to just think to yourself... Okay, am I actually doing the right thing for the people who need the who need it the most here, or mm-hmm. am I doing this for myself? Just uh, just answer that question to yourself before you completely jump on the he's a pedophile train mm-hmm. when he literally at no point at any point in the story had sex with somebody who was under the age of eighteen. There you go. Mm-hmm. And uh, just another thing to that is that like even if you do have thoughts about it, shut the fuck up. Don't talk. Until you like, until more shit has come out, don't sh- don't jump on the fucking bandwagon like a fucking retard, okay? Because uh, you know, it uh, that's the type of shit that basically basically devalues like thing all these people's stories and even like just corrupts further like a lot of the shit that I've at least to me shouldn't be corrupted. So again, if you do have thoughts about it, sure, and if you want to share them, do it privately. Don't fucking put them out there on Twitter like a fucking moron. Or at the very least, like wait until like more shit comes out about it, and then ta- then put your thoughts about it. Because that's at least my thing. Because you know, jump to conclusions like that is basically helping nobody. Can you at least agree, agree with me on that? More than Maybe. anything, I think that if you took information from a Reddit page specifically dedicated to hating the oh yeah, groups, you're a fucking moron. <laughs> you're truly you, a moron. I, I I implorely invite you to just go find a mirror in your house and stare at it and just repeatedly say in the mirror, I'm a fucking inbred over and over and over again. And eventually I feel like you'll get the message for yourself and you'll stop being inbred as if that was something you could control. (laughs) Yeah, those, I guess, I I guess really those are my two cents. Just really think before you jump on, uh, before you jump on any certain type of bandwagon, think who you're doing this for when you say something, think, do I actually care about social justice here? Or am I doing this to hop on a bandwagon when there's no evidence? Because a lot of people were already on the fuck Danny train when the evidence was literally manipulated in a way against him. That's just (laughs) how it went. So just 
be a little more nuanced, be a little more patient. Yeah. Don't immediately jump on the anger train because guess what? Sometimes you might be making actual victims of abuse angry. Sometimes you'll actually be hurting them more than anybody else by doing this. Yeah. So it's just something to keep in mind the next time a story it, it, about uh the next time a story about a high profile <laughs> internet figure, you know, comes out about a some story of abuse. Even dehumanizing them too. Like that's I'd imagine that's how they feel. Yeah. Really. And uh yeah, no. and what Danny did is shitty. Yeah. I think he should apologize to that girl exist or the girls he ghosted just because it's a shitty thing to do. But it's not like a fucking. I've been ghosted before, you know, by girls I yeah. by girls I met <laughs> in real life after Tinder. Which yeah. fuck Tinder? I'm never using that shit again. I uh, <laughs> there's other ones too if you want. Yeah, no, I'm good. I uh, <laughs> to tos who always told me how great of a job I did and then stopped responding to my DMs. It's just the way of the world now, unfortunately. I think ghosting is shitty, but it's not something that anybody should fucking lose their careers over. And if you yeah, think yeah. otherwise, even though what somebody did turned out to not be true, then you are perpetuating what a lot of the idiots who are on the far right say about cancel culture always constantly ruining everything because you are virtue signaling then. You are, like, just saying that this should happen because these per this person's morals are different than mine in that kind of sense. But I've said my piece on that over and over again. We're an hour 40 in at this point. It's time, this is the it's longest time, episode, ain't it? It's time to wrap, and I do believe it is the longest episode. Yeah, it's no, it, it is definitely the longest episode, and I knew it was going to be. I just, I had a lot to say, Dennis, because I, I just mm -hmm. took this, um, as somebody who's been with older women in both only sexual relationships and, you know, mm -hmm. romantic relationships, this hit me hard. Because I don't mm -hmm. want any person on the internet to tell me, you know, my experiences were not what I feel that they were. You're, if anything, you're telling me how I should feel, which isn't that exactly the thing you stand against? You know, telling people how they should feel about their own experiences? Mm -hmm. Of Kind of makes you think, doesn't it, about why people mm -hmm. say what they say. All right, <laughs> we, are, we are done here. Um, so on a lighter note, rise cold brew. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> which we have, a, a, dude, there's a commercial. They just released a commercial for it on Twitter. I know, but the way you just fucking jumped that. And they, <laughs> yeah, hell yeah, dude, I'm 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 quick with it. And they didn't, okay. and they didn't get me to be the narrator. Ah, uh, dude, you would have fucking crushed it. I would have crushed that shit. But whatever, they're. Uh, I guess they don't want. They don't want to hire one of their ambassadors or merchandisers. They want to hire an experienced voice actor. <laughs> My ass. Uh, yeah, we're cold brew. <laughs> That's some bitterness there. I, I no, yeah, yeah, you know, hey, you know, speaking of what's not bitter. Rice cold brew, depending on which flavor you get. Um, yeah, Yo. original black, oat milk, oat milk <laughs> vanilla, oat milk mocha, classic latte, London fog, all those delicious flavors, organic nitrogenated cold brew coffee that you can get at the low, low price of $30 and even less with 10% off using discount code Nintunas to check out using the special link that is in our description below. If you want to click that to be able to get that and hook, uh, hook yourself up with any delicious <laughs> coffee and oat milk as well, which we also make an organic oat milk and original vanilla and chocolate. It. flavors yeah and uh dennis where can they uh where can they follow us uh they can follow us on twitter on instagram uh we even have a spotify you may go and check out which is where all of our episodes are at we also have other avenues that we'll also be plugging on the bottom in our description that y'all can go and click and go find your merry way to us apple podcast google mm -hmm. podcast mm -hmm. overcast whatever the fuck that platform is <laughs> Ra radio <laughs> pocket like it, it auto distributed to a bunch of platforms i don't think anyone uses anymore but i can't imagine we're also on youtube and you might be even listening to us on spotify right now i know most of our audience listens to uh, listens to us on youtube mm -hmm. which surprises me i thought most of them would actually use spotify but you know whatever i don't i don't fucking <laughs> you know, it is what it is. I, uh, yeah. So if you haven't, um, definitely share us around. If you want our podcast to grow as much as mm -hmm. we do, we're, we're definitely on that. Uh, we're, we're, that's definitely important to us, you know, in terms of, you know, putting consistent content out there and making mm -hmm. it the best we can be. It's all we can really do on our end. Besides telling other people about our podcast at a certain point, some of our goals can rely to you or relate to you, I should say. Mm -hmm. So post us on your social feeds, you know, tell your friends about us. If you know, they're into comedy or they're into banter podcasts, whatever. Uh, if they're into just anything that they can get, you know, 
Or oh. just background noise for you to listen to while you're doing something. Pretty much, yeah. I know I listen to a lot of like my friend's podcast literally while I'm playing Call of Duty. And uh, yeah. I even listen to this podcast when I'm like just chilling. Do you listen to this podcast when you're playing? Yeah. Call and, of Duty. Uh, I'll, I'll even admit, like, I'm like, wow. I should really learn to shut the fuck up sometimes. Oh, come on. I talk way more on no, no, this no, no, shit no. than you. No, no, no. I've been on rants too, my friend. Also, I just what want you to say should. Something. This is fucking. This uh, is no, your. No, no, this no, is no. your podcast. Wait, wait. I'm, I'm about, to, about to jump to A to Z right now. Yeah. I also want to say something to Rise real quick. Yo, you should send. You should hook up your boy. Not me, but you know, uh, David over here. Because oh God! He shut up! Shut no, up! No, listen, 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 listen. Like, he was bitter, but he still repped you in that plug, anyways. So, like, you know, throw a bone, will you? Like, come on, please, guys. They give I don't me. Know if they give me free coffee. Where the fuck's my free coffee? <laughs> I rep this coffee just as much as you. That's not true at all. <laughs> Imagine it's like, this starts to be like an argument. It's like, it's not <laughs> fucking true of... at all. What are you talking about? <laughs> I drink that shit at home. Where the fuck my free coffee at? Oh yeah, they're going to give everybody free coffee who just drinks their shit. No, fuck that. I mean, like, they, I rep you guys too. I wear a shirt. What are you talking? You Did you buy one? Yeah. Oh, fuck yeah, Dennis. Let's go. Yeah, tell them to fucking send some coffee my way. Sure. Hook that shit up. I'm, I'm, uh, not, I'm, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> I'm not gonna give him free coffee, guys. Lights off, guys. Woo! Fuck you, guys. Thank you so much for listening, everybody. Goodbye. Fuck you. <laughs>